Come on now. What y'all say? Hey, I'm glad you came back. Yep, I'm surprised. Hey, check this out. I uh, had, had been asked a couple times the same question over and over time this week. I'd, I'd really like an opportunity to go over it. The electric start system on little uh, little Honda clones, little Honda GX, uh, what be 160, 200s, little Predator 212s maybe. How they hook up? Let's get into it. Two ways to look at it. I think, but I'm not sure. I may know where the confusion is coming in on the connection of these uh, uh, electric start boxes. Looks like two different configurations of wiring. It ain't. It's just the difference in how they did it. Let's hook, let's hook them both up. The boxes, they fit the same part number. But you can tell, A, there's a quality difference in, in the two, and how they terminated the wires is a little bit different. So what you say, I hook up this one step by step. And if yours is like this, you follow along. And then I hook this one up. And if yours is like this one, we just follow along. And I don't have to explain it no more. <laughs> hey, come on, get in here. We'll start by first identifying the wires that are left here. After everything is removed, what do we have? If you'll follow it from the top side, there's a wire coming off the top side. Usually it runs down behind the motor and comes out right here. This is connected to your coil. It's your kill wire. Bang! Let's remember him. We'll just set him up top. That's your kill wire. The next one we'll cover, it's already here. The little yellow wire. The little yellow wire right here, it goes to this little shiny box. That's, that's your, for your oil sensor. There's some pixies in there does some stuff. But nonetheless, that yellow wire coming off that oil alert is going to the oil sensor out of the side of the block. We're going to leave it connected. Also coming off of that oil alert, you got a black wire. Keep that in mind. The other black wire, you're going to follow it around all the way back. To my solenoid right here. That's my trigger wire that takes everybody out of the way except for this lone soldier. And he's coming out from behind the flywheel. This is my charging circuit. This is what's, uh, this is my charge wire. So the way you say we jump in here and wire both these things up, I'm going to start with the one that I think is probably uh, the most confusing. And, and the one that looks to be made uh, maybe not to the highest of qualities compared to the other. Not that it ain't gonna work. Just they, they did take a little extra time on the other one. Let's install this one first, see what we're up again. Now you can see I got, my, I got my box mounted up. So let's get busy making our connections from our ignition box over to our starter for what we already know. We've already established coming out of the engine Behind the flywheel, we have a wire. That's our charging wire. On the ignition box, that's gonna be the brown wire. But if you're not, if yours isn't brown, follow it back until you find, uh, you find this bump in the wire. That, that's, that, that, the diode right there, that lets you know that that's your charging system. So let's make that connection first. It's going to knock out everything one at a time that we know. Here is my hot lead, the one with the ring terminal on it. It's going to go to my hot leg on my solenoid. Just make the connections we know. I'm trying to knock out everything it takes to make it crank. This is my wire coming off the back side of my solenoid. You can trace yours down by finding it on the back and follow that wire down. I got my trigger wire in my hand that runs back to that solenoid. Plug him into this spade. Why? There's nothing left it'll plug into. I've got this 
This is, ties into the kill circuit on this type of wiring. So that is going to be my last connection with a spade. That's this over here that ties into the oil alert system right there. Oh, but wait a minute. I still got this piece on this one. Yes, sir. And you still have the kill wire coming off your coil coming up top. So let's get him routed back behind the starter. Bring it back here nice and neat and make our connection. Now, we still got a wire left over. Dun, da, da, dun. Where does it go? Where does it go? Man, that's just a ground on this system. Uh, I'm liking it right here where the solenoid mounts. Let me hook that up and we'll fire this system up. My connections are put together good. We just want to jump it over and see if uh, see if we're spinning. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hook me a, a cable onto my block. Make sure I ain't connected over to nothing. Keys off. Get that hot lead on that post. No sparks yet. That's always good. See if she kicks over. Let's say we'll wire that other up, see what it does. Now, let's take a look at the one with the better wiring harness on it. Still five connections, but we don't have the one that goes back to the oil sensor that splits off into two. I've taken the cover off the back of this one because I couldn't find the, the diode down here in the, in the harness. So once I take the cover off, I just want to identify that, that little notch, that, that diode in the line, that ensures I've got the right wire for my charging system. I'm not going to hook this one up. I'm going to leave that one hooked up. I'm going to wire it. I'm not going to mount this piece. I'm just going to wire it. I'll put this cover back on, and we'll get at it. Working with what we went over earlier, let's just immediately go for the items we can identify. We know we've identified the wire coming out from behind the flywheel down here as our charging wire and the brown wire from our switch that has the diode in line connects to it. Let's, hey, what's the next low hanging fruit I can find? Uh, this one with the ring terminal on it is gonna go to my solenoid. Hey, I'm down to three connections now. My solenoid connection is made. I got a kill wire coming from the top of the motor and it, it's a female connector. I only have, coming from this harness, one more male spade. Guess what? It's got to go here. I will go ahead and route it back behind the starter. All right, I got a kill wire made. What does that leave me with? I got, I got two coming off of uh, my switch, and they're both female. Now, how do I determine which is which? One of them's going to be tied into this kill circuit on the low oil alert, and the other is going to be tied into my, my hot lead. Now, I could... Uh, Test this wire right here. Oh man, it's down to pot luck. I ain't got, I mean, come on, I ain't, I ain't got but a couple connections here to make. I got my kill wire. I got these two coming out. L let's, let's see what we gotta do to make it crank. Let's me find, this is my wire coming off my solenoid. Solenoid off the back side. Here's my wire. That's my trigger wire. I'm gonna hook him up. 
And I know that seems like, uh, you just kind of done that. Yeah, I just kind of done that because I'm guessing on that, son. Because, uh, you know, why would they uh, put one on that was going to be carrying energy and, 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 not, and put their excess time into that? I'm a guessing, <laughs> kind of, but I'll show you why. Stay, don't you touch that nail. Get it hotted up. We hot it up, and we're ready to spin it. I know we'll have to steal this key. Okay, down a 50-50 shot. Okay, I get it. You don't want to just guess and plug them two wires together. Let me show you how to figure out which one goes where. We're left with the two wires. We have one coming off of the oil alert sensor, and we have one coming off the... That's my trigger wire. So at some point, it's going to have to get power. So. I just need to figure out which one of these wires is going to show continuity to this point. I got you set up over here. We're going to take that wire that I was anticipating is my trigger wire, my hot wire, and I'm going to put me a probe in here. And I'm going to put the, the other end on my hot side. This normally would have my battery cable on it also. But if you'll remember, we had the wire hook to that post. This is going to tell me if this triggers when I hit the switch. That's telling me I'm good to plug that up. Da -da. So let's hook it up. Leaving only one connection left. The, the sad little oil, oil, oil alert uh, box there. Now, let's juice this up see if it spins. Get me on the muffler. On that hot leg right there. Let me go. Let me go. Hey, get make it hot. We hot. Let's just see what happens. Hey, but it really don't matter which box you got. At this point, you're still not done. There's one more very important step. You really ought to take. Uh, neaten them wires up. Don't have them hanging all over heckin' creation. I hope that resolves that issue. Once I realize that there's two different options out there and they, they both wire up, they both work. Just two different manufacturers on these little things. Think it through. You can do it even if you have to ask twice. I appreciate you tuning in. Hey man, take time to ring that dinghy bell. That old boy gives you a little help. We'll see y'all on the next one. We'll see y'all. See you, bye.